Hey, good morning. It's Monday morning. I spent the weekend in the desert, sleeping under the stars and just uh, feeding my soul. It was really good to get out and have some me time. Uh, it's super important in my life to have other things that I enjoy besides tile. And that is probably the top of the list for me is, is going into the desert to do some canyoneering. So grateful for that. I feel good. I'm sore, tired, but um, my soul is is happy. So, uh, so working up in this cabin, I have a lot of a lot of commute time. I have an hour and a half every morning to to think, and I've been thinking a lot these last few weeks. And normally, I'm I'm I kind of keep to myself and, and don't really talk publicly. Um, so this is kind of a little bit new for me. Uh, it's not really out of my comfort zone. I enjoy talking about my experiences, but it's new for me to go uh, public like this and share. And I think I was thinking about it and, and you know, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to teach DIYers how to do their own tile. I'm not trying to teach other pro tilers, you know, how I do things necessarily. I think my hope with sharing some of these experiences is that I can maybe reach the young entrepreneur um, the young tile installer who's, who's starting their own business and, and trying to figure things out. Um, I started my business when I was 22, basically 22, 23, half of my life ago. I'm 46. I've been self-employed that whole time since then. I've had a few other side jobs. I worked at Home Depot for a few years when I was really new because my wife and I were trying to buy a house and, and I needed to show some more income. Um, and you know, just just trying to make end, ends meet. I worked a forty-hour week at Home Depot, and then about a forty-hour week doing tile um, for two and a half years there. And and it was it was a lot, but it it opened a lot of doors for me and got me a lot of um, you know experience and, and meeting other people. And it helped us get a house too, and w which I'm grateful for. Um, but eventually, I shifted back to doing tile full time. So. I feel like I have a lot of experience in in having to figure things out um, as a young person and figure out how to run a business and figure out how to um, get clients and build a reputation and build a brand. And those are all things that I just, you know, learned through trial and error. Um, I didn't really have a mentor. And I think if I would have had some more mentors early on, that process could have been a lot faster. But um, I wouldn't I wouldn't trade it um, even if I could because I feel like me having to learn how to how to grind through those problems really really helped me in a lot of ways. So I was thinking today about um, how to get your name out there and and how to build a reputation. You know, when you're new and young, um, it's daunting. You know, because you see all these other people who just have you know, a, a good reputation and everybody knows who they are and they have tons of work all the time. And like, that's how I feel now. Um, but it's taken many, many years, you know, 20 something years to get to a, a point where, where that's how my business works. And when I was young and brand new, um, you know, the internet wasn't a thing. Facebook, social media wasn't a thing. You know, you could take out an ad in the yellow pages, which I think I did once and it wasn't super successful. Um, I'm not saying it's easier now, it's just different. You know, you still have to work hard for, for that now, just in a different way. So one thing that I, like if I could stress into the mind of a young entrepreneur is, is talk to people, talk to everybody, make, make a human connection every chance you get. Um, you know, social media and the internet are great, but nothing is as powerful as a human connection. Um, talk to people in Home Depot, talk to people at, you know, the tile stores, make friends with, with the, the people who are working at the supply houses and don't just, don't just go and buy things there, actually get to know them, you know, become friends with them. Um, <clears throat> Builders are kind of hard to approach sometimes when you're young, you know, I I would walk on to job sites and and go straight to the foreman or, or the GC Every time I saw one, you know as a young kid and, and I was I was naive and dumb and and you know kind of quirky and you know 
and I probably looked like a young, dumb, broke kid because I was, but um, <laughs> I didn't care. I would talk to whoever. Um, one time when I was super new, um, probably 2002, I was in Dow Tile and I was just buying some thin set, you know, and I, I, I saw this lady and her husband shopping for tile and, you know, I, I looked at them and I could tell they were wealthy and they were like way out of my league probably, but I went over and talked to them, you know, I was like, what the heck? Um, come to find out they were building a new house in Alpine, a really big, nice house, you know, come to find out. And, um, <clears throat> you know, the lady, she probably felt sorry for me, honestly, <laughs> in retrospect, but she invited me to come and give her a bid on her house. And, and the husband was, was against it, I could tell from the start, but, but she gave me a chance and she actually hired me to do her master bathroom. There was another tile company there doing the rest of the house, but she hired me to do her master bathroom. And it was way out of my league and it was a super, super fancy travertine job. And, um, you know, I did it and I, and I did a good job and, and it, it took a long time and there were, there were some issues, but I did it. And in the end, you know, um, I think they were happy with it and that opened some doors for me. And that was just an unexpected job that, that I, I got because I, I had the courage to pursue it. You know, another, another opportunity back when I was young, I, I was in Home Depot and there was a young husband and wife shopping for tile and I struck up a conversation with them and, and they invited me to come to their house and give them a bid and I did a bathroom for them. And over the next few years, I was doing bathrooms for their brothers and sisters and parents. And eventually this guy became a, a general contractor. And I did um, the majority of his tile work in some really high-end custom homes for, for seven or eight years there. And it became a, a really good um, connection for me. And I still get, you know, calls occasionally that I could link back to that connection. Um, you just, you never know, you know, where the next opportunity will come from. You got to be tenacious and, and put yourself out there. And if you're not good at talking to people, um, you can practice that, you know, talk to people um, just any chance you get, even not about tile. You know, I, I'm, I'm somewhat of an introvert, I would say, but I, I knew that I had to drum up work and, and I knew that I needed to get people to know me. And so I just made it a point to talk to everybody everywhere that I could and just be sincere, you know, be, be yourself. And if yourself is someone you're not comfortable with, um, just practice, you know, practice making connections, practice talking to people. Um, I think it's really important to be on social media and, and get, get you and your work in front of the masses. But I also think it's extremely important to connect to people on a personal level. And, um, another bit of advice about, you know, getting jobs, um, I used to see these tile contractors when I'd go into supply houses and, and I know that they were working on some nicer higher end projects than I was and I was I was always a little bit envious and I would I would watch them driving up the mountain knowing that they were going to some of these these bigger custom homes as I was going, you know, down into maybe the the lower end of of the work area and doing, you know, some nasty uh duplex bathroom remodels and things, but um, I, I just kept my sights on, on the kind of work that I wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to move, move up and get better and work on higher end projects. And the more of those opportunities that I did, um, and, and I would get the jobs and do a good job on them, the more of them that would come. And it's just a snowball effect. You know, you start to, you start to become known as someone who does a good quality job and, and who can handle you know, a little bit more of a custom job. And those are the jobs that you attract, you know, and it, it's gotten to a point in where in the last, you know, five or six years where we've gotten some really, really technically challenging, super high end jobs because our reputation has been grown to a point that, that, um, people are confident that we can handle those jobs. And, and some of those jobs, when I first got them, I wasn't even confident that I could handle them. And it was super daunting. And I would go into those just so nervous and, and apprehensive and, and doubting myself and, and just um, with consistency and effort, 
you know, we were able to, to complete those jobs and have happy customers. And that led to more of those kinds of jobs. And, and now that's kind of just the jobs that, that come to us, um, thankfully. And I, I'm able to be kind of picky about the work that we get to do. And that was a long process. You know, like I said, for a lot of years there, I did some really nasty, gross, just jobs that now I wouldn't want to do, but I'm grateful that I, I got to do those and learned how to, to be happy with, with what I could get, you know, and, and I always wanted to, to take it up to the next level. Um, and that's been kind of the path. So yeah, if I could, if I could give any advice to the young entrepreneurs, just, just put yourself out there, you know, talk to everybody, make connections, make friends with people. Um, the more people that know you and and like you and trust you, the the bigger your referral pool will become. You know, you will have referrals coming in from a dozen different directions and it'll allow you to to pick and choose a little bit more which jobs you want to take and which ones you want to pursue. So um, I hope that's a little bit helpful. That was just my thoughts this morning. Um, I got to try and get these walls tiled today because I'm really excited to get over to this um, mitered log scribe return detail. Um, and, and I'm excited to get grouting this thing. But anyway, again, I just I hope that I can um, help in some way. I've gotten a lot of messages these last few weeks since I started kind of opening up a little. Um, some people showing appreciation. Sorry appreciation um struggling to talk today others asking questions and it made me realize like you know i i really um do have an opportunity to help some people and i i hope that it does i really do sincerely um i i i like the idea of being a mentor to to the younger generation of of tile entrepreneurs and craftspeople so thanks for listening um Appreciate you guys and uh, hope everyone has a good Monday.